No, we're just going to have a little fun. Okay. All right, so this is a little cool extra for you. Uh, this is something that's not on the air that people can watch. And uh, you are a – I know – that you are a karaoke singer because I've done a few things with the Duluth Curling Club, and they said, hey, can you set it up so people can sing? Because John wants to get up and sing. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I actually say I, I came and judged a, a Elton John uh, contest, okay. giving away Elton John tickets, and I don't. I, it was with this radio station, yes. and, uh, and nobody, I mean, probably five or six people sang. I'm like, heck, it, heck with it, I'll sing. <laughs> so I rock. I sang some Elton John at an event. Uh, with you guys one time. That's funny. Back in the day. I, I wish I had been there. I, I know exactly the event you're talking about, and I couldn't make it to that event because I was doing something else for one of our other radio stations. All right, so tell me uh, what Elton John song you think that I uh, you know pulled out that day. Okay, you would have to be something like a Crocodile Rock or Philadelphia Freedom. Ooh, nope. No? No, I slowed it down, man. Okay, then it's either uh, Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me or your song. That last one was a good guess. Yeah. <laughs> I just see that as that that's kind of your personality though. Yeah, it's funny. My uh, my parents randomly had some Elton John like greatest hits thing they got with some Visa card but and that was the first song in there and I'd never heard it prior to that, you know, when I was a kid and uh yeah. That's how I discovered Elton John. My mom had the greatest hits one where he's sitting in the white suit at the piano. Yeah, that might be the same one I had. Yeah. And uh that was how I discovered Elton John and I was like and then you turn it around on the back and I think uh, he's, I want to say he's sitting in front of the piano. Now the lights are all out. Yep. Kind of the same deal, but he's like like thinking or some kind of pose like that. <laughs> so what is it? Is Elton John your go-to when you go oh, when heck, you do karaoke? Heck no, I do country, man. Okay. So what's your country <laughs> go-to? Who, who, what artist do you sing the best? Uh, the best? I yeah. I, I sing a couple Toby songs. Okay. I'm a, when, when I'm not sick. You know, Chris Young, I like to pop out a little Chris Young here and there. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a lower voice, so even if you're sick, you can pull that off. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've discovered what the song that is my go-to lately, Lost in Love by Air Supply. Wow, a little Air Supply. Yeah. You know, I, th- I think maybe the one I've, I I was most proud of recently, I think I sang a little Zach Brown band. Uh, ah. I'm trying to think of what it, what it was. Chicken I think fried? It, No, it was... Uh, I think it was Toes in the Water. Toes that, in the Water, yeah. yeah. That's a good song, though. That's a good song to I sing, actually too. never, I actually never knew what the uh, Spanish words for that song were until I saw it. I was like, hey, I was wondering what he was saying. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, first of all, I, I want to say again, uh, congratulations on getting to the Olympics four times. Um, nobody's ever done that as far as Americans are concerned. I think there's got to be some skiers from Denmark that have been there like 12 times. Oh, no, there's there's actually Americans that have been to more Olympics than four. But there's uh, yeah. just as far as curling as goes. As far as curling but goes, But curling, yeah. actually, there's uh, one player from Norway who this is going to be his fifth Olympics. Wow. For his first two are his alternates, though, so he only played in three Olympics. Oh, okay. So, uh, so if you actually talk about Olympics that were played in, then, you, I'm, then, the I'm, the, then I'm the leader in the clubhouse. <laughs> but if you talk, you know, if, if an alternate counts as a team member, which they do, uh-huh. then, uh, then I'm one behind this. Son of a gun from Norway. So now when you go to the Olympics, uh, is there a lot of people that you see again and again and again from other countries? Uh, from other countries, like in the curling, for sure. Yeah. Uh, but there's, I mean, I have a I have a pretty strong friend base of even U.S. athletes that have now been to, you know, either all four with me or three of the four with me. Okay. That'll, that'll be going as well. So it's, it's pretty fun to be, um, especially a lot of those people were first-timers when I was a first-timer back in 2006. Uh-huh. So to have that camaraderie and... Um, have experienced that long with them. them. Yeah, like one of them who I, th- I mean, I think she's on track to make the team, but like Katie Ulander, Bob Ulander's daughter is yeah. a skeleton racer. Okay. And uh, yeah, and she's been to to the first three Olympics with me. And um, she was actually involved. She lost the, or she got fourth place at the last Olympics to a Russian by uh, 0. 0.01 seconds in skeleton. <sighs> However, that Russian is one that's been caught up in this doping scandal. So she's kind of on the verge of maybe even maybe getting, getting the medal, a bronze medal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, uh, I don't know if I have this right. I could have swore that I read that the Russians are done with this Olympics because of the doping thing. Yeah, well, yes and no. So, Most of them. Well, right, but but all the athletes that have uh, always been like has have tested and and had a had a had negative tests like outside of Russia mm-hmm. um, over the last four years are going to also all be allowed to compete as uh, Olympic athletes from Russia. But it's funny, like it has to say Olympic athletes. From has to be the same size as the word Russia. Okay. So I've actually seen the, the 
Russian women's curling team that's going to be playing at the Olympics. They all had, after they'd won, they had these T-shirts that basically said Olympic athletes from Russia, and there's not going to be any kind of Russian flag okay. or Russian Federation um, stuff along with them. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's it's good because, you know, a lot of these athletes that, you know, like these like their Russian um, curling teams, for instance, that have tested, you know, have 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 tested that they were clean athletes throughout, you know, the process will – you know, and they would have earned their country's right or their right to be there, you know, via our qualification uh-huh. standards. Um, you know, I think it's only only fair that they're able to still, right. you know, go after their Olympic dream. And, and Putin actually initially said, well, no athletes will go there and um, and compete if they're not representing Russia. And immediately the next day he's like, you know what, go there and, and you know, make us proud and, uh, you know, good luck kind of thing. So he actually gave them their blessing. So. You, you got to think that uh, through no fault of your own, this has happened to your country. That's, I mean, I remember back when uh, the USA boycotted the Summer Olympics, and I think Mary Decker was going to be one of the female marathoners, and she was like, I've been training how many years for this, and now I can't go. Yeah, it's a, I mean, obviously the the Olympics are sometimes used as a political stage, yeah. and uh, we, we try not to uh, do it too much as personally as us curlers, but right. um, at the same time, we understand the, you know that, I, but the Olympics is a place really for the world to get together and and to bond as one. And you know, there's even a lot of times that some countries, if had they been disputing or feuding, um, kind of you know put their guns away over the period of the Olympic Games, and uh, and came back afterwards. So it's and a lot of it too, I think, is the governments are are feuding. It's not necessarily the people. I mean, um, oh, for sure not. All all of us sports compete against all these athletes that are going to be at the Olympics all all the time. You yeah. know, like. You know, skiers are skiing World Cup events with all the skiers that ski World Cup events at, you know, at the Olympics, us curlers. I mean, there's not a single player at the Olympics that I don't know personally that right. we're going to be playing against, you right. know, and they're from nine different countries. So that's um, cool. Yeah. So sport, sports are a really cool way that the world comes together and the Olympics is the grandest stage. All right. Well, thanks for coming in, John. This has been extra cool. Cool 101.7. <laughs>